I hear of Sherlock everywhere since you became the strongest man. Episode 99 of I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere is here. And this time, we catch up with renowned Sherlockian Chris Redmond. We thought we'd give you a flavor of what's in store with this author, speaker, and scholar, who holds the distinction of being the youngest ever member of the Baker Street Irregulars. He was only 16 years old when he got his start with the group. And just how did it happen? Well, being the sort of person who haunts libraries... I quickly, having having used up the uh, 60 Sherlock Holmes stories, looked for more in libraries, found that there was a great deal more, especially in the University of Kansas Library, discovered there was a Baker Street Journal, subscribed to the Baker Street Journal, and through it discovered that there were people in Kansas City, about 30 miles from Lawrence, starting a society. So that was my first connection to the larger Sherlockian world. And with such an example as Sherlock Holmes before him, Chris had a mind that turned toward chemistry as a career. Well, I started off intending to be a chemist also. I was turned off by a bad high school teacher, which has always been been one of my crusades since then. But uh, high school teachers can turn people off as easily as they can turn people onto things. I ended up... um, at Queen's University, which is in Ontario, majoring in English literature, mostly medieval literature. I did nothing Sherlockian as an undergraduate. Ah, but Sherlock Holmes couldn't stay away for too long. And before long, one thing led to another, and soon we got to the topic of religion and the Sherlock Holmes stories. Holmes talks religion and philosophy with a rose in the Naval Treaty. He talks about the futility of life at the end of the retired color men Mm. and in the veiled lodger and so on. Lindsay Colwell and I got very interested in this topic a couple of years ago and started a project to to collect both notes on what's in the canon and notes on what's been written in Sherlockian scholarship about religious issues. But more than being a deeply inquisitive scholar, Chris also has the ability to coach public speakers. Well, one of, one of the things I really should point out, um, you know, since we're talking about your talks, is that you have a lovely a chapter in Quick Succession of Subjects from 2008, which includes your thoughts on how to give a good presentation. Mm. And it's one of my favorite um, sentences about the subject of giving talks is in this particular chapter where you say, and I quote, as a result, you may have noticed most Sherlockian papers begin with one of two sentences. Either, can you hear me at the back? Or, (laughs) or... And you'll just have to tune into the full episode to hear what that second thing was. Or to hear what Bert said that caused Chris to say something that many of our guests have said before. I don't know what you just said, but I'm sure you're right. (laughs) Well, we have a lot in common. (laughs) Naturally, we wanted to talk with Chris about his book, A Quick Succession of Subjects from the Wessex Press, which contains dozens of talks that Chris has given around North America, including this one. The emotional and dramatic effects that uh, color words create and so on how the dominant color in the Valley of Fear is black and the Hound of the Baskervilles is dominated by green and gray. Chris got the idea of his next book, About 60, Why Every Sherlock Holmes Story is the Best, from a paper he gave extolling the virtues of the Boscombe Valley mystery. But he quickly realized in this book that he had a challenge on his hands. Would it be interesting to make a similar case for every Sherlock Holmes story, that every one is the best? Now, you're you're putting yourself in that position to make the case for every single story? (laughs) Well, I imagine putting myself in that position, and then I decided I couldn't deal with 59-fold cognitive dissonance. (laughs) Smart man. 
So what did you do? I finally decided, I decided that what I would do was find 60 people and get each of them to argue for one of the stories. So check out I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere, episode 99, for the full interview with Chris Redmond and to hear more of his fascinating stories. And until next time, the game's afoot.